Hello and welcome. Today I show you how you can disable the weather toolbar completely where you can't even see it anymore or the news and interests toolbar. This is the thing, this is the section and it has a few settings there but most of them they just go open a browser page and take you to your Microsoft account and it will link to your Microsoft account if you're logged in but I'm not logged in with a Microsoft account here. It's a lot of news here, a lot of things that I actually don't want to see. I, I prefer to disable this completely. So you can do this on the Pro version of Windows 10, Windows 10 Professional and higher. And how you do this, you run, open a run a prompt command and you type MMC, MMC. This is the Microsoft Management Console you open it, it's just an empty console if you didn't save it before and you can uh, choose add, remove, snap ins here you go to the group policy object editor and choose add this changes settings for the local computer which is what you want make sure it says their uh, local computer policy and you press ok now in this section here you go to local computer policy then you go to computer configuration and here administrative templates expand this section in here you go to windows components and find the news and interest section in this section you have one setting called enable news and interests on the taskbar double click on this setting to open it and here you have a few options not configured enabled or disabled if you leave it as not configured or enabled it will be pretty much the same thing it, the news and interest and the weather in taskbar shows as normal but if you have it disabled it disappears completely after a restart so you save this as disabled now and you don't no need to save this option here, it's up to you. And after a restart, the news and interest section and the weather in the taskbar will be gone completely like you don't even have them at all now. It's uh, like you don't have the update. This uh, news and interest relies on a Windows update that I will put the link in the description. If you don't have this feature and you want it, you need to get that update. To have it, the easiest is just to update your Windows, really. And eventually they will. They started slowly, slowly to send it. But you see here, now it's not even there, the option. I don't have the option to configure it at all. So if you want to enable it sometimes or let some users enable it, this is at the computer level, no user would be able to use this, then you might want to enable it. So I'll show you how to enable it. The same way, you go to MMC and add remove snap ins and here you have the group policy object and uh, it's uh, you find the same key computer configuration administrative templates it's gonna have the same value we configured previously if for some reason you cannot see this setting about news and interest in your taskbar you go here to check this setting and here you could choose it as enabled and press OK. But I thought I will just leave it not configured because it's the same thing. And after a restart, the news and interest will be back. And then I have the option to enable it or disable it from the taskbar. Right click, news and interests, remove or hide. So <laughs> now it's here. You see, I can turn it off. I can uh, not show it, I turn it off, but also I can turn it on later if I want. It's easier to have it like this if you use it sometimes. But if you don't want to use it at all, you set the group policy for the news and interest to disabled and it's gone. I hope this video helps you. Let me know in the comments below how you prefer to have this setting. If you want it to disappear completely or if you want to use it sometimes, or how you customize this news and interest if you would prefer to remove the news. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like and share. And I will see you next time. Bye.